Hello, this is Victor for PMD Interactive. Have you ever wanted to create web projects from anywhere? Well, you can with the Code Anywhere Cloud IDE. Let's check out how to use it. This is a web-based solution, so you'll need to go over to CodeAnywhere.com. It's basically an online code editor with a variety of pricing options. We're going to go with the basic one, the free version with a lot that we can still work with. So you'll need to create an account as usual. So provide your email address, password, verify that you're not a robot, and then register. Once you've set up the account, make sure you go off to your email account and verify your email address. The account will be very limited until you verify, so do it as soon as possible. Once you've verified, you can return to your Code Anywhere account, and then we will go to the editor. This is where you're going to accomplish your work. Your first task is to create a container, which is basically a virtual server. You can name this whatever you want. Keep in mind that it'll be part of your address once we run the project. We have a variety of stacks that we can work with, a variety of pre-made virtual machines, Angular, working with a blank project, C and C++, Cake PHP is good. But we want to work with, for example, PHP. And we've got either an Ubuntu server or a CentOS server. I'm going to pick Ubuntu and then Create. It will take a moment to power up the device, and you've got a virtual environment. You see its stats here, the amount of RAM, hard drive space, and such, which can be upgraded when you pay a little bit more. You also get pretty much full root access. So if you know your way around the terminal, you're going to be able to use it as you're used to. There's good old top. You're going to be able to install other software because this is an Ubuntu-powered virtual server after all. So I'm going to install here, just for fun, the more powerful HTOP. You have an explorer on the left side where you can right-click to get a variety of options, such as creating a new folder. This will be a new folder on your server. So I'll just call it something. Inside of that folder, then I can right-click and create a new file. I'll call it index.html so I can easily access it from a web browser. And then I'll go in and start creating a simple HTML5 project. Now there is code completion, code hinting, built into Code Anywhere, which is nice and useful. So nothing special here. I'll just create a quick Hello World type of project. I'm going to save the file. I have keyboard shortcuts, just like a regular IDE. And then I want to see the project. I want to run it. So I've got a Run button that I can click. It'll open a new tab in my browser, and it shows me my virtual server. There's the folder I created, and there's the index.html file I created. Notice the web address. There's the name of the container I created, plus my username, which is random at the moment, but I'll show you how to set it in a moment. The server, codeanyapp.com, and then the directory, the folder I created. And that results in displaying this index.html file. If I want to change the username, I have to have the account verified, then I click on the top right corner to go to the dashboard. This is when I can set a variety of options, renew my billing and so forth. Go to your account, and then you'll have the ability to edit these account details. For example, username. I get a random set of numbers. I want it to be whatever I want, so I can easily change it like this. Once I save that and return to my virtual server, it just works. I can run this project again. It'll open up the server, and I have the new name. The file structure is still the same as before, and there's my code. So Code Anywhere is a great free 
Cloud IDE. It lets you code anywhere. HTML, JavaScript, you can use Node, SAS, Angular, all of the hot web stuff. But we've got containers also for C and C++, Java, and so many projects. It's hard to believe such a great product is free. Now you get a lot more options once you start paying, for example, persistence. These projects are only available as long as you're logged in to your account. Once you log out, your server shut down. So for $6 a month, you can have a persistently active server. And you get a server that you can do many things in the terminal. For example, again for fun, I'm going to install Lynx, the classic text-based web browser. Using the usual apt-get install, I have Lynx. I can then copy the address of my project, paste it into the terminal, and run Lynx. So at the very least, you can show off a text-based web browser to your friends, and that you can code anywhere with Code Anywhere. This has been Victor for PMD Interactive.